Have a pleasant day everyone! I am Shalami Bungalso from Base Ed Science 1B. Now we're going to talk about the artist that I choose and he is a Filipino artist that plays a great contribution to Philippine history. For our today's lesson, we're going to talk about Fernando Amorsolo, a Filipino artist. We're going to tackle about his life events, ideas, works, and the awards and citations that he received as an artist. To start with, he was born in May 30, 1892 and died in 1972. He was the Philippines' first national artist and is officially recognized as the Grand Old Man of Philippine Art. He is Fernando Amorsolo. In 1909, he graduated with honors from the Art School of the Liceo de Manila, then enrolled in the UP Diliman College of Fine Arts at the tender age, where he was mentored by his uncle and the prominent potem painter Fabian de la Rosa. Consequently, in 1916, he graduated with honors and was granted a sponsorship by a Spanish businessman Enrique Zubel de Alaya to study at the Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando in Madrid, Spain. For seven months, he sketched at the museums and on the streets of Madrid, experimenting with the use of light and color. We can see that Fernando Amorsolo is truly dedicated to arts. Moreover, the winter he went to New York and discovered the works of the post-war Impressionists and Cubists who became the major influence on his works. On his return to Manila, he set up his own studio. Renowned for his trademark luminosity and ability to render the iconic provincial Filipina, our solo's paintings usually feature scenes in glowing rural landscapes such as farmers ankle deep in rice fields, women in colorful bird sayas sorting through mangoes, and vibrant society portraits. By continuous exploration, Amor Solo developed the use of light actually. Black light, which is his great contribution to Philippine painting. And as of now, we can see that most of the artists use and apply it in their arts. Characteristically, a more solo painting contains a glow against which the figures are outlined. And at one point of the canvas, there is generally a burst of light, and that highlights the smallest detail. To show you some evidence, these are the artworks of Fernando Marsolo. This one is called the Lagang Bukid or entitled the Lagang Bukid. And it is created in 1937 and it clearly shows the lives of Filipina. The second painting is entitled Planting Rice with Mayon Volcano. And it is clearly created in 1949. And in this painting, we can clearly see that Filipinos are hardworking and they truly strive in order to get the food that they can eat. The third painting is entitled Afternoon Meal of the Rice Workers and it is made in 1939. It shows on how Filipinos bond together and eat together after planting a rice and it is one of the best dressed that they could feel. Actually, there are more famous artworks of Amor Solo that shows the culture, tradition, and life of many Filipinos. All in all, it is the artworks that shows the Philippine history. And by the help of this, we can able to see the past. When Amor Solo returned to Manila, he produced myriad paintings from the 1920s to 1930s. He taught at his alma mater and served as director of the school's art department between 1938 to 1952. 
When it comes to his notable awards and citations, he received multiple accolades including a UNESCO Gold Medal of Recognition, a result Pro Patria Award from the Far Eastern University, and Gawad CCP Para sa Sining Award from the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Accordingly, his legacy lives on through the Fernando C. Amorsolo Art Foundation, established in his history by his children in 2003, and that legacy will remain into the lives of many Filipinos. Nanda Amorsolo Equito is said to have painted more than 2,000 pieces. He continued to paint even in his late 70s, despite arthritis in his hands. Even his late work featured the classic Amorsolo tropical sunlight. He said he hated sad and gloomy paintings, and he executed only one painting in which rain remains. Yes, a beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. And every artist was first an amateur. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned something from this video.